Drive <laughs> offline. Multiple hull breaches detected. The Evan Hawk is adrift in space after a terrible battle. Most of its crew are dead or dying. You lie in the medical room in critical condition. You won't survive long without medical attention. The hyperdrive is damaged. Main power must be restored in order to bring the engines online and dock with the nearby Paragus mining station for much needed repairs. Your fate and that of the Ebon Hawk depend upon T3M4, a lone astromech droid. Return to this location at any time to skip the prologue. <laughs>
Sometimes bashing or blowing open the container will break some of the ice. Some responses may influence how other furthermore, certain skills, powers, and attributes may not three CFD is malfunctioning. You can fix it if you repair three CFD. Success. Stabilize your condition. Success! You are stabilized to recover fully. This is the main hole. This old woman appears to be dead. There is a key card on the body. It's like it opens a lock or something. This, this blast door is magnetically. Thank <laughs> you. 
wires connect to the The store is damaged and cannot be opened. This is the utility limit. You can use this lift. wires control the door to the starboard dormitory. The door is currently sealed, but you can override it from here. Success! The door is opened. Don't forget to explore. This is the port side of the Ebon Hall. The bubbles ahead indicate mines that approach recovery You can use the explosive device in this missile to blow open the engine room door inside the Evan Hawk. Evan Hawk's quiet. 
fog laser turrets. They are damaged. You can use a slip to... Sensors show the door to the storage compartment is being sliced. There is someone or something. Still examining the survivors of the damaged freighter. Looks like it goes by the name of the Ebon Hawk. Only one survivor, placed in the Coltal tank for recovery. 
The carbon scoring on the vessel suggests it was in a battle, but no indication of who fired on it. Couldn't get much from the NAVA computer. I'm surprised the ship was able to make it inside the Paragus asteroid field without the asteroid drift charts. Aside from the lone survivor, we recovered an old woman. No life signs. There was also a protocol droid and a utility droid on board, sent both down to maintenance while security sorts through the other items on the ship. It looks like the utility droid, a T3 unit, was able to get the ship working enough to get to the colony. We're prepared to... Could be a Jedi, but we won't know for sure until we get the transmission back from the Republic. If the survivor is a Jedi, that would account for the recovery rate. But I'm more concerned that a Jedi here may cause trouble. Some of the miners, especially Korta, are already st Another accident today. A detonation in the ventilation tunnels. If the lockdown measures hadn't activated, the whole facility would have been destroyed. Got most of the injured to the Kulto tanks in time, but the rest had to go to the morgue. One of the wounded said a droid caused the accident, but we couldn't get any specifics. Miners about the Jedi. A number of the droids have been acting oddly, and not even memory wipes seem to be fixing the problem. There was a detonation in another one of the fuel vents the droids were working in. We deactivated several of them and moved them down to maintenance, but we're still treating the plasma burns. That cuts us down to almost half shifts, and with the droids malfunctioning, we may not make the Telo shipment for this month. Fortunately, the detonation didn't cause a lockdown. Warning, there has been a fuel detonation in the mining tunnels. Emergency lockdown commencing. All personnel report to quarters and prepare for emergency venting countermeasures. No, if the ventilation systems are malfunctioning, Evacuate the medical bay! Everyone evac- Still examining the survivors of the damaged freighter. Looks like it goes by the name of the only one survivor. Place couldn't get- a It looks like- Miners about the Jedi. A number of the droids. There was a. No! Find what you're looking for amongst the dead. Yes, I had hoped as much. I slept here too long and could not awaken. It may be I reached out unconsciously, and your mind must have been a willing one. Or perhaps you have been trained for such things. I am Kreia, and I am your rescuer, as you are mine. Tell me, do you recall what happened? Your ship was attacked. You were the only survivor. A result of your Jedi training, no doubt. Your stance, your walk, tells me you are a Jedi. Your walk is heavy. You carry something that weighs you down. So it would seem. Keep your past and let us focus on the now. I do not know. I was removed from the events of the world as I slept. A survey of the surroundings may provide the answers we seek. The ship we arrived in, the Ebon Hawk, must still be in this place. We should recover it and leave. We were attacked once, and I fear our attackers will not give up the hunt so easily. Without transport, weapons and information, they will find us easy prey indeed. Even as I slept, I felt much unrest here. I saw strange visions, minds colored with fear. Now, everything here feels terribly silent. A last word of caution. I would find out as much as you can about this place quickly. I fear we will need to depart as suddenly as we arrived. You may wish to extend your search to some clothes. 
if only for proper first impressions. I do not know. Why did they spare you? Indeed, a Jedi trance could protect one from such poisons. In fact, the sedatives may have been intended to keep you unconscious for some time. It would prove lethal to those untrained in such techniques, however. Most curious. And so do you. Perhaps we could discuss it at length later on. Now we have other concerns, among them finding our new enemy. I leave you to the explorations of this place. Here I will remain and attempt to center myself. Mm -hmm.